Hello everybody, I just wanted to take an opportunity to inform you around some initiatives that are coming out of the urban area. You all know when we attend fires in structures that there are a number of inherent risks. One of those is that sometimes we're required to get on the roof to do work and another is that nearly all buildings that we attend that are on fire have electricity connected to them. Now there's a number of things that you all do and have done for many years to mitigate that risk and ensure our firefighters are safe. You know you conduct a dynamic risk assessment, you know you adjust your tactics and strategies based on the risks that you have at hand. But we also recognise that there are other things that we can do or other training we can offer that will help mitigate that risk. In that regard, um, we've developed low voltage fuse removal training, that's, that's uh, training to ensure that people are appropriately equipped and trained to remove electricity or isolate electricity where it enters the building, not just at the switchboard. So the target for delivering low voltage fuse removal across CFA ultimately is to 9,500 firefighters across around 479 brigades. So that's a significant undertaking, not only for the training team that will be delivering it, but from all of you that will be participating in those training courses. In the short term, for the financial year that's just started, we aim to del deliver this training to 420 members across 84 brigades. Um, so we're starting it in a rolling approach. It will need to be phased. As I said, it's a significant undertaking. There'll be more detail on how that training will be delivered uh, and where it'll be delivered from an update from DCA Greg Patterson very shortly. So keep an eye out for that one. So we intend to deliver safe work at height training across brigades based on risk. Uh, clearly, um, OMs will work very closely with OOs and brigades to identify where the most appropriate areas to, to put this capability is. In the financial year commencing now, 1819, we have funding and equipment to train uh, 160 personnel across 32 brigades. So again, a phased approach and there'll be more to come on that uh, shortly. As I said, keep an eye out for DCO Greg Patterson's update on the specifics of that training. The other related issue with working at height on electricity, of course, is the uh, prevalence or the increasing prevalence of solar panels and battery storage uh, units around structures. We recognise that this is an emerging hazard, an emerging risk for firefighters. So for immediately we've um, identified some funding to conduct further research into the best ways to mitigate that. So we'll have the opportunity over the next 12 months to research what the risk is around um, PV and solar arrays and develop training that's specific to deal with that. And I'm sure there are many people across CFA that have experience around solar panels that will be able to provide input into that research. So we look forward to, to that as well. And the final initiative I wanted to talk to you about, um, which we're all very excited about, is the latest version of the Field Emergency Response Guide, uh, known as FERG to many of you. Uh, we've had this response guide in a pocket handbook format for several years and periodically it gets reviewed. It's just been through an extensive review and the latest version is now at the printers, uh, so that will be issued shortly. But the exciting thing from my perspective about this version is it's the first time we've been able to make it completely interoperable. It's done in partnership with the Metropolitan Fire Brigade. So this version will be the first time that we've got a field response guide that's for all firefighters across the state of Victoria. So we're very excited about it and it will be uh, issued shortly. As I said, it's in the printers. There'll be a number of hard copies come out and also an online version. Stay safe.